I hope I won't get destroyed for making this video. Please watch it in its entirety before leaving a comment. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back. So today is kind of a sensitive topic because it's um, prone to a lot of stigma and a lot of um, negative things. So today's topic is what if self-harm is for attention? Self-harm being for attention is one of the biggest stigma around self-harm and one of the biggest misunderstanding and is one of the factors that holds a lot of people back from seeking help because they're afraid that they will just be brushed off as someone who's seeking attention, which is something really not socially appropriate in Europe. Seeking attention is just the worst thing ever. And in my opinion, as someone who has self-harmed and who is encountering a lot of self-harmers, in most cases, self-harmers aren't doing it for attention. And in fact, a lot of people are spending a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of just resources on hiding their self-harm and hiding what they're doing. And self-harm being for attention is a stigma that I really try to work against with my Still Not For Attention campaign that you can see on Instagram and just my memes and everything else. This is something that needs to be fought against. But by hosting this campaign, a question that I sometimes get is but what if it is for attention? And as I said, I don't, I don't think that this is the majority of cases, but you, you can't deny that it does happen. So what do we do in those cases? So to make it short and simple, to me, self-harm is self-harm, no matter why you're doing it. Whether you're doing it because you're feeling completely invisible and need to be seen, or if you're doing it because you've been abused or because um, you can't deal with your new breakup, I don't care. Self-harm is self-harm. If you're hurting yourself to cope with emotions, to cope with life, that is not okay and you need medical attention. End of the story. Doesn't matter if you're doing it for attention or not. You need the same amount of care, you need the same amount of medical help and the same amount of empathy as anyone else. Of course, identifying the factors that lead you to self-harm is something that is very important in your uh, recovery and in preventing self-harm from, keep, uh, from keeping on happening. But it's not what should determine whether you should get help or not. If you're self-harming, you need help and you deserve he help. Another point that I wanted to touch on is the fact that I've, I've often seen people saying, oh, this person is totally doing it for attention, just look at, I don't know, maybe they're not hiding their scars or their wounds. And it just implies that you can tell you, another person, if this person is doing it for attention. And I really don't think that you can tell if other people are doing it for attention. I think you are the only one who knows if you're doing it for attention. I really don't think you can guess other people's motives for stuff like that. You don't know their whole life, you don't know their whole story, you don't know what's going on in their head, even if you think you know them super well, maybe you don't know everything. There's also not just one stereotypical act that clearly shows that you're doing it for attention. For example, to a lot of people, uh, showing scars would be attention-seeking, and attention-seeking is just a huge no-no, makes you a horrible person, and you see what I mean. But to some people, maybe that will be their way of seeking attention, but to some other people, it would just be their daily life, and it's not something they're doing to seek attention at all. So, yeah, my point is, I really don't think you can tell yourself if someone else is doing it for attention. I think only the person can know why they're doing it. And it's also not your place to go tell someone why they're doing it. You don't know, you're not in their head. Attention is a basic human need, and if it's not being met, you will find ways to fulfill that need. And sometimes it can be self-harm. It doesn't mean that you're a horrible person, it means that you have a need that isn't being met. So of course you should find another way to meet this need. Self-harm shouldn't be the way you fulfill this need. But because you do it this way doesn't mean you're 
uh, a horrible witch that needs to be burned on the firewoods of social media. Sometimes it really seems like you've got the crowds of self-harmers just split in two. You have the real self-harmers that are not showing it, that are hiding it, and that are not doing it for attention and are doing it because they have real problems. And you have the other half of the self-harmer population, I guess, that are only doing it for fame on Tumblr and Instagram, are not doing it because they have real problems and just need to basically shut the fuck up and grow up. That's not how it works. I often hear the uh, f the sentiments that if you're doing it for attention, it means that you actually don't have any problems and you actually don't need help. And I really don't think you could be third from the truth. I really think that just because you're doing it for attention doesn't mean you don't need treatment, basically. And let's just imagine that someone is just the biggest attention seeker ever. They're super obnoxious, they're, I don't know, cutting in public and shouting, oh, I'm cutting myself, I'm cutting myself, look! And they're, I don't know, uh, shouting on the top of the roof of their school that they're hurting themselves. Does that mean that this person is a horrible person? Does that mean that this person doesn't need treatment? Hell yeah, they do need treatment. If they're capable of going to this extent to get this attention, they need treatment too. So end point is if you're desperate enough to hurt yourself as a coping skill, you need help. Full stop. Some people also feel super, super annoyed by people who are either not hiding their scars or that they perceive to be attention-seeking because they feel like this minority is the reason why self-harm has such a bad rap and has such a reputation of being attention-seeking. So when they see someone who they think is attention-seeking, it really aggravates them and they feel like they're just they just don't know what they're talking about, and I am the real self-harmer, you're not. And to be honest, I felt this way, and I felt super annoyed at people that were just like posing with the scars and not hiding at all when I was in a freaking hoodie in the middle of summer and just spending so much time hiding it because I felt like they were um, increasing the stigma. But I think we really, we really need to look past that and just see that they just need as much help as we do and that it just doesn't make them monsters I guess. So that was it for today, I hope you liked it. If you have any video requests you can send them to me on Instagram, if you want to chat with me you can hit me up on Instagram, I answer every DM I get, the link is in the description as always and I will see you soon. Bye guys!